Do you have habits in life? If your answer is yes, ano kaya itong mga habits mo? Is it good or is it bad? Are these habits causing to enslave you? So if you are guilty, please keep on tuning in to my channel. So before we dive into our important topic today, let me first welcome all of our viewers. So good morning everyone. Welcome to 5 Minutes with Kuya Ram. If this is your first time to watch this channel, of course, please don't forget to click the subscribe button below including the notification bell so that you are always updated of my videos every week. So let's look at what is a habit. A habit is a thing done often and hence usually done easily or an act that is acquired and has become automatic. Example nyan, yung pag toothbrush mo sa umaga, di ba pagkagising mo? Parang may kulang, di ba pag hindi ka nakakapag toothbrush? Unless hindi ka araw-araw nag toothbrush, pre. Or pagligo araw-araw. Di ba yung tipong hindi ka lalabas ng bahay, pag hindi ka muna nakaligo? Or unless hindi ka rin araw-araw naliligo? So lahat ng mga binanggit ko na example ay naging habit na natin at matik na sa atin gawin yun araw-araw, di ba? We all have habits, whether good or bad. Even nga yung mga newborn babies, di ba? Meron silang habit. Ano yung habit nila? They have habit of sucking their thumbs. But today, let's look at the bad habits that can enslave us. Sabi nga ni Apostle Paul, just because something is technically legal, doesn't mean it's spiritually appropriate. Guys, so if you're serious about your spiritual growth, look for opportunities to say no to yourself in small areas. Then one day, you will be able to say it when it really counts. So how and what areas in our lives we need to look at? Ano ba yung kailangan nating tingnan? You know what? We have to zero in on the undisciplined areas of our lives. At ano itong mga areas ng buhay natin na to? Ito yung mga bagay. These are the ones that we keep. Keep what? Keep excusing. Ang dami mong dahilan. Ang dami mong mga excuses. Ang dami mong mga palusot. Ano pa yung kinikip natin? Keep rationalizing. Sa Tagalog, anong ibig sabihin nun? Ang dami mong katwiran, pare. Pero alam mo namang mali na yung ginagawa mo, pero nangangatwiran ka pa rin. May mga kilala ka bang ganyan? O, baka ikaw din yun. I keep excusing on what? We keep on delaying, dealing with. Ito naman yung mga bagay na hindi mo hinaharap ka agad. And you're just delaying it and no actions are being taken. So itong mga habits natin ngayon, kung tatanungin ko kayo, ikaw na nakaputi, is it beneficial? Does it have the potential to control you? Sa totoo lang naman kasi, di ba? We all have the right in this world to do what we want. Tama? It's permissible. Kaya lang the question is, is it beneficial? Example, you have a right to eat a tub of ice cream every night. It's permissible, but it's not beneficial. Especially if you want unblocked arteries, a trim waistline, and the ability to run a marathon or just keep with your kids and grandkids. Ano pa? You have the right to spend your money as you please. Di ba? Wala naman ako pakialam dyan. But don't complain when you end up strangled by death. Di ba? Magiging baong ka sa utang. Ano pa? You have the right to look at whatever you want on the TV or the internet. But you know what? But exposure to wrong influences will inevitably weaken your character, rob you of self-respect, and enslave you. 
So the bottom line is this. Makinig po kayo. Your character, our character is the sum total of the choices you and I make each day. And one more thought. When it comes to replacing bad habits with good ones, the only person who can make it happen is sino? Walang iba po kundi kundi. It's you. Ikaw pare. So as I end, here is my take away sa inyong lahat. In 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 12 it says, If I went around doing whatever I thought I could get by with, I'd be a slave to my whims. So kaibigan, sana po may aral kayong natulot at natutunan dito sa ating topic ngayon. Lalong-lalo na kung ikaw ay isa sa mga guilty at meron pa rin inaalagaan ng mga masasamang habit sa buhay. So magkita-kita ulit tayo next week. Dito lang ulit sa channel ni Kuya Ram. So God bless you and thank you for watching.